Hi, my name is Paul Brenner. I'm CTO of MS Communications and President of the Broadcaster Traffic Consortium. Alongside Glenn Walden of CBS Radio, I co-chair the HD Radio Task Force. The HD Radio Task Force works to unify information from broadcast leaders, third parties, ubiquity, and manufacturers to help define the future of the digital radio experience. The information that we've compiled as the HD Radio Task Force is working towards defining the consistent consumer experience. Now the context of consistency is to make digital radio as visual and interactive as other digital mediums. So in our work we have defined eight priorities that will ultimately deliver a platform that is visual and takes advantage of an internet back channel similar to other digital platforms. So let's move ahead and talk about the top eight priorities that have been defined by the HD Radio Task Force and then show you a video of the experience in an Audi vehicle with a Pioneer aftermarket and with the portable HD radio in a smartphone. Before going to the video demonstration, let's start with a brief overview of the top eight priorities identified by the HD Radio Task Force. Number one, HD radio power increases. Number two, proper alignment of timing and audio levels. Three, complete and accurate SIS. Four, dynamic program service data, or PSD. Five, song tagging support, in this case iTunes. Six, station logo services. Seven, artist experience. And eight, quality multicasting. These first three items should be thought of as how listeners find your HD station for tuning, blending, analog to digital and available services. HD power, initial approved power levels of minus 20 dB do not effectively replicate FM analog coverage areas. The FCC has blanket approved minus 14 dB and allows up to minus 10 dB with special approval. Stations should work towards at least minus 14 dB as a means of replicating their FM analog outdoor coverage. Minus 10 dB allows stations to fully replicate FM analog coverage for indoor as well. If power levels are low, the transition between analog and digital can be frequent, resulting in a bad listener experience, and the coverage area of HD multicast stations is limited because there is no simulcast FM blend of the same content. On levels, FM analog and FM digital time and audio levels must be properly aligned. Skipping audio effects or annoying level changes can occur if both are not maintained. Station Information Schedule, or SIS, performs some key functions. SIS broadcasts your station call signs and station slogan for display on a radio. SIS also links up with the receiver and tells the receiver what all the services are available on your station, like how many multicast channels exist, or if there is data services like traffic and weather. The other five items are HD radio technologies that define the user experience through metadata, interactivity, and the content. PSD, or program service data, changes with every element in the audio broadcast. PSD sends artist, title, album, genre, comment field, commercial ID, and song tag IDs to the receiver. UFID this information is broadcast telling the receiver everything it needs to know to purchase the song from music stores. iTunes tagging is currently the only Cardash integrated song purchase available to consumers. Station logos are just that, the logo of your station. These are not synchronized with the audio and originate as static images played from a local PC in your broadcast chain. In theory, this could also be used to display images such as art of your morning show crew or special promotional events like a month-long Indy 500 race promotion. The artist experience is relatively small images that can synchronize the song being played with the appropriate album art cover or synchronize the audio commercial with the advertiser's preferred image. Multicast is the hidden channels of audio. These are the hidden gems of our industry. Content normally delivered in AM coverage areas or other niche formats more likened to satellite or streaming are readily available on HD radio multicasts in HD2, HD3, and etc. We need to pay attention to the content on these channels and make sure they are as available and of higher quality as our FM analog primary stations. 
With all these in mind, now let's move on and check out some of the real world examples of these eight priorities. We're inside of an Audi 2011. It's equipped with HD radio. Uh, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the top eight priorities that, with the HD radio task force and have Krista walk through a couple of examples of the real world, the radio and the way that that translates. So the top three things that we talk about with top eight priorities are HD power increase, alignment of your time and your audio levels, and SIS, or station information schedule. So Krista, if you just dial into the, the main screen here in the Audi, you'll note pretty quickly that you have HD radio icons. Mm -hmm. And those are the stations that are essentially running HD radio. So when you push on one of the stations, first thing we get is FM, right? Uh -huh. So it sounds like FM. Uh -huh. And pretty quickly you'll see, uh, you'll see the words pop on the screen. Right. And you should hear a sound change. Oh yeah, it, like, it actually dies out and then actually comes back on with a yep. much clearer sound. So this is a blend. This station's really good with time alignment and audio levels because really she heard what she's calling a dying out, but it, essentially it's a blend from one to the next. The key is it didn't stutter and it didn't skip. No. So that means the station is well time aligned and uh, good audio levels. So the other thing we see here is the call sign station. So station information schedule is well programmed on the station. We see WNTR and, um, and we see the artist title and album name coming through pretty well, okay? So if you tune uh, to another station, look, look down here where we see the HD2s. Uh -huh. So go down to a second station. And, and did you know that there were other stations on HD? No, I really did not. I figured that it was just the regular FM stations that you could get on an FM dial, yep. but just a clearer sound. Yeah, overall. that's that's the way it's been promoted. Um, but we click on one of the HD2 stations, we're going to get an HD2 station on an intercom station here locally, WNTR. And their HD2 is a, kind of a, a blues rock station. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're an Eric Clapton fan. Of course, it's Eric Clapton. <laughs> So go up to uh, go up to 97.1. I know you're a country music fan. Absolutely. So go to 97.1 and let's select that station. We see the same thing. You hear the same blend. Mm -hmm. We have good call signs, artist title, and album. Sure. So now if you scroll down again, what we should see is the HD2 station. If you select that. Uh huh. Wow, crazy enough, I work for Hank FM, and I didn't even know we had an HD2 station. Yep, your HD2 station on Hank, uh, multicast, good quality multicast, um, deep album, country, bluegrass, something that is not really normally heard on sure. regular FM. Okay, now we're in a 2008 Toyota. We are running a few different things in this vehicle. We have an aftermarket Pioneer, it's an HD radio, iPod enabled, uh, it's, a, it's a nice system, touch screen. We have an iPod connected directly to the unit. And then in the car with us, we also have the HD radio enabled smartphone. So we're gonna go over a few things here really quickly. We have uh, dynamic program service data, which is, is, looks really good on this screen. Uh, we have the song tagging capability, which we're gonna demonstrate with the iPod. And then we have the imagery, station logo service, and station album art, or the artist experience. So there's two stations in Indianapolis, WLHK Country and WNTR, which is an intercom station uh, right up the street. So Krista, we're going to go through a couple of things real quickly. Um, we'll start with uh, the Hank station. Mm -hmm. So what's the first thing you think about when you see this, uh, this display on the Pioneer? I really like the album art because it enables me to link the song with what the album is that I could go and purchase on iTunes or purchase at, you know, the actual CD of it or that sort of thing. So do you expect the album art? No. You don't expect it on radio. Would you expect it if you had another kind of uh, Pandora or an iPod or something? Oh, absolutely, because on your iPod it pops up, on Pandora it pops up, Spotify it'll pop up. But on something like this, with the radio, you don't typically associate a media that's not tangible or that you can see with something that you can't see. Right. So here we have really accurate artist title and album name, and uh, we have the capability to tag songs. So on the screen here, if you just touch that icon that says tag, so it's uh, basically saying it's communicating with your iPod. So in this case, as soon as you take this iPod to your computer and link it up, if that song is something you don't have in your playlist, mm -hmm. iTunes is going to tell you to buy it. It's going to put your shopping cart. So that's a, that's a pretty cool feature. So if we flip over to 107.9, which is the, uh, the intercom station here in town, they also carry the artist experience. They have really good program service data, and they carry the station logo service. Now, as we're listening to the station, it's tuning to HD, and at the same time, we have uh, this music coming through the HD radio smartphone, and we have the album art. 
So in the same time that we're seeing it on the interface in the car, we're getting it on the mobile mm -hmm. screen. So the same thing can happen here. We can say save to buy, and that's carried by program service data and the UFID field, which is a, a tagging component of HD radio. And it's the same exact experience, the same user experience on both. So as you can see from the video demonstration, applying the top eight priorities that have been defined by the HD Radio Task Force can deliver a consistent consumer experience. So visit our website, hdradioalliance.com, click on the bar for the task force, and work your stations towards delivering a consistent consumer experience.